Here we are at the 2018 World Robo Conference in Beijing. This is the exhibition hall where over 160 manufacturers are showing off their most advanced robots. They will be used in a range of areas including construction, education, electronic sports, surgery, the service industry and many more. The five-day event features forums, exhibitions and even international robot contests. Here, the power of robots is on full display and visitors can see just how far the Chinese robotics industry has come. Forty years ago, China began developing its first industrial robot. Today, China is the world's largest industrial robots market, accounting for a third of global demand. The progress uh, due to uh, investment in robotics and due to actual the research being a lot faster and better from the universities of China and from independent uh, industry uh, has uh, brought a lot of uh, um, new developments in all types of uh, robotics fields like uh, the hardware and the software as well as the, uh, 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 the artificial intelligence part have been progressing really fast. And the progress in recent years is clear to see. In March 2017, more than 800 Chinese companies were directly involved in robots manufacturing. By the end of that year, China had over 6,500 companies dealing with robotics. And experts say service robots have great potential in China. One reason for this is the country's continuous demand for healthcare and education. These are senior care robots, developed by Zhong Rui Funing, a young Chinese robotics company based in Shenyang in northeast China. This is the FN Yumi robot. The two-arm model can precisely categorize and allocate medication based on different recipes. Its cameras and sensors allow it to locate and reach destinations whilst avoiding obstacles. Uh, this is peak care. Peak care is coming to pick up the, the pill boxes for the other people. The other peak care says uh, there is uh, like trash on the, on the table. Uh, it grabs a, a, a trash bin and using the brush to clean that. With strong arms and dexterous hands, peak care can help elderly people stand up and walk. It's also able to monitor the elderly's health conditions. By the end of 2017, China's over 60 population reached 241 million. That number is expected to peak at 487 million around the year 2050, making up 34.9% of the total population. However, senior care services are not sufficient to cover the growing demand, and this gives intelligent service robots a role to play in the future. Hong says that China's robotics industry is transforming from a follower to a leader on the world stage. Uh, I believe China uh, currently is, uh, a lot of companies are trying to make new things that no one else in the world has developed before. Chinese government currently encourages innovation of technology. So ro robotics is part of the high-tech part.